Hello. So just to let you know, this goes terribly. I do break my speed paint code of ethics and after the time runs out, I do some soul searching and I do try and make it less shit. But we'll get to that. Let's start off where there was still some hope. I got him primed white to give me a, at least a little head start on his Saruman the Whiteness. Before doing the robes, my plan is to do the staff and the skin first. So starting off with the staff and Abaddon Black. And then let's skip ahead to nearly half a speed paint later. Then after some white touch-ups over the mess-ups, like on the cloak, on his hand and on the top of the staff. It was now time for the skin. My original plan was Bugman's Glow, but it's halfway through the 10 minutes and I haven't even got to the many colours, so just a light skin tone and a wash. So doing the hands and the face and then again touching up any mess ups. And now that I'm left with a third of the 10 minutes it was time for the part which could go the most wrong. I had done some test models with some Rohan cloaks, so I knew it kind of worked. Yet, during the actual speed paint, an actual model I want to paint, it behaves completely differently to the test models. And instead of stopping and re-evaluating the situation, I just kept on going. And then again, touching up any mess ups. Yet creating another mess up with some impromptu bushy eyebrows. Now it take this time to roast him some more. Saruman discovers the secret to making gunpowder and fake tan. With eyebrows that are thicker than the walls of Isengard. If you look closely at his eyebrows, you can see the fellowship taking cover from the snowstorm. 
so with the little time I had left, I made some more bad decisions. seconds two seconds remaining so the answer is no you can't paint it in 10 minutes maybe if you had the right thing some clay leaves oil washing or something but just watering down this does not work so I don't even know what I'm doing this time what could I possibly do in two seconds So don't worry, I do plan to fix it, but first, might as well do some montage shots to at least document how shit the first 10 minutes was. Save your pity and your mercy. I have no use for it. Yes, you join us back at the table as he attempts to fix what he's done in the previous 10 minutes. So it looks like he's starting with White Scar. And let's go down to one of our correspondents on the sidelines. J Mac, Armies of Middle Earth. How's it looking? Uh, right. That's a bit interesting choice I'm not sure I would have done that I can't believe the ref is letting this go let's hope we can finish this off back to you thank you J-Mac uh, you really see the colour on the robes and as we saw earlier it is too much The white scar does seem to be turning it down. Going back to J Mac, what do you think of that? That's no, alright. Will that decision pay off? Good point there, John. Will it? That is the question. On everyone's minds, uh, let's take a look at the stats. So, as, as you can see, he'll really be looking to add to the good decisions, or I don't think even this extra time will help him. It does look like he's finished with the white scar and he's pleased with it so far. J Mac, thoughts? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Indeed. So, going back to the stats, he's now doubled his good decisions, but still a long way ahead are the others, when totaled up, are in the double figures.
interesting development. Going back on with the staff. It looks like he's previously gone over it with the white scar and has made the decision to go back to it. Oh, but what's this? Oh, he's gone off camera. Camera two. Oh, still nothing. J Mac, what's the reaction down on the pitch? What an absolute melt. Oh, I can't believe he's done that. That's that's poor thinking there. It is really terrible. For those at home, we can only assume he's still on the staff. And yes, here he is. On the top of the staff, he really has to be careful here. As he did run out of time in the previous 10 minutes to do the wash on the skin, he's coming in with the right gun, and then hopefully even just a little bit of highlighting would do. Do you know what, I think it's coming too heavy, but time will tell. Currently, he looks even more like he got a fake tan and forgot to turn around to do his back. What do you think, J-Mac? He's going to regret that decision. It looks like he's planning to differentiate the white robes to the hair and beard. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's it. He's dry brushing with long beard grey. Sounds like the right paint for Saruman's long beard. What don't you say, John? <laughs> oh, Christ, then. I, uh, I apologise to J-Mac and you at home for what I thought was a comedic observation. But back to the table, and it does look like he's nearly done with the grey. Coming back in with the white scar, but for what though? Eyebrows. I thought those were done. He's only going to make them thicker doing this. J Mac, what do you think about his decision so late into extra time? Oh, I can't believe he's done that. Not sure I would have done that. Oh, 
I, I know wizards are known for bushy eyebrows, but this has taken that to an extreme, surely. But he does look happy with the results, or at least content. Yep, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this. He looks like he's finished. with still time on the clock. You know what I have to say, compared to before it has improved and uh, may even be more book accurate being that it sometimes does look white and then you see the glimpses of the colors on the road. Still pretty shite, but I think he'll be pleased with the results. J-Mac, anything positive you want to add to this? Incredible result. I won't go that far, I won't go that far, but uh, you didn't actually know what he looked like when quite cool asked for the voiceover so uh thanks for joining us john thank you j mac armies of middle earth thanks for joining us and that's it as we approach the 10 minutes and the end of the extra time thanks for watching at home time for some montage final shots i'd say So yes, uh, that was a bit different, I thought because the actual painting went so badly, I thought I at least would make the video fun. So I hope you have done that. Big thank you to Jane Max Army for Love. Make sure to subscribe to me if you're not already. And of course, while you're here and if you haven't already, like, comment, please don't let me know what you think of the actual model, I know it's shit. And subscribe. And if you like what I'm doing on the channel, if you like the video, if you like the content, Share it with any fellow hobbits or those who dwell in Middle Earth. See you on the next one. It's quite cool.